class of 2024, please be seated. Good morning. My name is Aite Rodriguez Ibarra, and I am the student body president at Crystal Ray St. Vider. I would like to welcome our founding president, Father Tom Von Barron, members of the Board of Governors, our Secretary of State and founding board chair, Cisco Aguilar, members of the Board of Trustees, administrators, faculty and staff, parents, family and friends of Crystal Ray St. Vider, and most importantly, the class of 2024. We also welcome our honored guests who have supported our mission, the Superintendent of Catholic Schools for the Archdiocese of Las Vegas, Ms. Catherine Thompson, our board chair, Patrick Miller, founding principal, Marisa Bello, and our keynote speaker, who also has been an incredible supporter and donor, Chris Ingolstadt. And a warm welcome and acknowledgement to our benefactors, our business partners, the CWSP job partner supervisors, and all those who have helped us to this moment. Now to begin our program, it is my pleasure to invite Aidan Tyler to join me on stage to offer our invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and loving God, we ask your blessing upon the class of 2024 who are concluding one part of their journey and are ready to begin the next. We thank you for all that has brought them to this point in their lives, and we place them in your hands as they begin a new chapter. We ask that you shine your truth on their path and bless them with discerning hearts. Embrace them with your comfort when the road is lonely and when life feels desolate. Be their source of courage and fountain of faith as they strive to do everything well so that through them, Jesus may be adored and loved. Release them from anything that binds them or keeps them from true freedom as your children. Infuse them with joy and the ability to savor the, the wonderful gift of life you have given them so they can help transform the communities they will encounter we are grateful, O oh God, for the journey we have traveled together. Bless our memories and our futures so that we graduates and all who have been part of our lives will continually build your kingdom. We praise you and bless you in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. St. Viator, pray for us. Father Curbs, inspire us. Adored and loved be Jesus, now and forever, amen. Place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. At this time, at this time, it is my honor to introduce our president and former lieutenant governor of the state of Nevada, Lisa Burkhead, for opening remarks. Thank you, Aite and Aiden. Good morning and welcome. We are so thrilled to celebrate with you today. You are a remarkable group of students, talented, faith-filled, and academically accomplished, and ready for the next step, college. May God bless you and keep you in his care, not only as we celebrate your achievements today, but in the years to come. To celebrate your achievements, it is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, an incredible supporter of Cristo Rey St. Vider, who was there from the very beginning with her generosity Ms. Chris Ingolstadt, 
who is the Chief Executive Officer of the Ingolstadt Foundation. She is a longtime resident of Nevada and a graduate of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. She serves as a trustee of the Ingolstadt Family Foundation, which her parents, Betty and Ralph, implemented in 2002. And she is dedicated to improving the communities she and her parents have called home. Chris channels her passion for education reform, veterans' issues, and improving the lives of people with disabilities and serious illnesses into her work with the foundation, directing funding to impact programs, working on these issues in Minnesota, Southern Nevada, and North Dakota. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Ms. Chris Ingolstadt. Thank you. Um, it's a little awkward when you're addressing the graduates, but they're looking at your back. So um, know that I'm meaning this to all of you. You'll just get not the greatest view of me. Also be grateful that this will be one of the shortest commencement speeches you'll ever have, because I know, yeah, because I know you've had this date marked in your calendar for a long time. It's important you're here, and it's important you celebrate. So I'm not gonna take up a lot of your time. Today marks a significant milestone in your journey. It's a moment of celebration, reflection, and anticipation for the future as you stand here. Remember the path you have walked. To reach this point has equipped you with strength, knowledge, and resilience, which might be the most important thing to face the challenges ahead. Graduation isn't just about receiving that diploma. It's a testament to your dedication, hard work, and sometimes just perseverance. You have overcome obstacles, embraced growth, and taken on change. Remember the lessons that you learned that will extend far beyond your classroom. They have shaped your character, your skills, and prepared you for the opportunities that lay ahead. You should also congratulate yourselves on surviving high school. You survived pop quizzes, some kind of meat that came in your lunch, and a few social dramas that you got through and you're just fine. It's like you survived the ultimate survival challenge. Now I'm gonna talk about your parents. Yeah, or whoever in your family got you this far. They're going to shed a tear or two today, but deep down, they are relieved. They don't have to get up to get you to school. <laughs> they don't have to listen to your questionable music tastes in the car. They don't have to see what you wear out on your free time. And they're going to get through it. So graduates, give your parents a round of applause. As you step out into the big, wide world, remember a few things, and they're really simple. Stay true to yourself. A lot of people aren't going to like things you have to say. They're going to want you to become part of what they think. Know who you are. Don't take yourself too seriously. Embrace your awkward moments. Some of my best lessons and most fun have been when it's been awkward and hasn't turned out exactly how I thought it would. Continue to learn and grow and embrace your challenges with determination. Determination, perseverance, those are the things that will get you through life, no matter what it is. And never underestimate the impact you have on the world. You think you're a student now, you're 18, what is it I could do? You have the power to change things. And if nothing else, make a funny meme. Do something, do something that lifts the mood and changes your life. Strive to make a difference in this world. We need you more than ever. Class of 2024, the future is yours to go forth and make it extraordinary. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Ingolstadt. Your words offer inspiration and vision. 
We are grateful for your leadership and continued support, and in gratitude and appreciation, please, on behalf of the entire school community, accept this small token of appreciation. We thank you for all you have done and continue to do for our students and our school. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to have our principal, Dr. Erica Romero, acknowledge our class of 2024 salutatorian and introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2024. Good morning, everyone. At the baccalaureate mass, we heard the inspiring remarks of our salutatorian of the class of 2024, Brittany Mendoza Chi. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> this morning, we are pleased to welcome our valedictorian. The valedictorian presents, represents the entire class as a student with the highest academic record over the four years at Cristo Rey St. Viator. The valedictorian has accomplished an outstanding achievement that has been attained by only a few select seniors throughout our country. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce to you our valedictorian, Zuriel Monson. Throughout his high school journey, he has exemplified the epitome of academic excellence, leadership, and service. In the realm of academics, Zuriel has consistently displayed an unparalleled commitment to scholarly pursuit. With a remarkable cumulative GPA of 4.07, he has not only achieved academic excellence, but has also demonstrated an insatiable thirst for knowledge and intellectual growth. Furthermore, Zuriel has secured a place among the nation's academic elite through the prestigious QuestBridge National College match. With a four-year, with a full four-year scholarship to McAllister College in St. Paul, Minnesota, he will embark on a journey of academic excellence and personal growth studying environmental studies. In addition to his academic and extracurricular achievements, Zuriel has been an invaluable member of our school community, contributing his talents and leadership to various sports and clubs, from volleyball to the creative expression of drama club, from student council to the celebration of diversity in international club, he has enriched our school and inspired all to strive for greatness. In recognition of his outstanding achievements and unwavering dedication, it is with great admiration and respect that I present to you our valedictorian for the class of 2024, Zuriel Monson. Congratulations, sir. We got this. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2024, welcome. My name is Zuriel Monson, and I'm honored to speak to you today. Before I begin, I want to say to my classmates, congratulations. We've worked tirelessly to, work, to reach this milestone. Every moment spent studying and working finally paid off. Let's also extend a heartfelt thank you to the dedicated teachers, counselors, and administrators whose guidance has been vital in our journey. Our success is a reflection of their dedication to their students. Today marks a pivotal moment in our lives one brimming with promise, potential, and unpredictability. As we stand on the threshold of what comes next, it's a privilege to share my thoughts on the winding paths our futures will take in the upcoming years. At Cristo Rey St. Viator, I've learned that a person's path to success is not linear. The career or major you envision today may change drastically overnight, and not only is it okay, it's exciting. Life would be boring without uncertainties and surprises, albeit some not as great as others. Nonetheless, moving forward, we should embrace changes in our perspectives and goals. There's thousands of examples of people's careers and lives shifting. You may know Bob Ross as a painter and television personality from The Joy of Painting, but what not a lot of people know is that before he found success on the silver screen, 
He was in the Air Force for 20 years. Bob Ross stated in an interview with Orlando Sentinel that he was the guy who makes you scrub the latrine. He was the guy who make you, who'd make you make your bed, and he would scream at you for being late to work. He was even nicknamed Bust Em Up Bobby for his tough reputation. He didn't expect to be stationed from Florida to Alaska. He didn't really like his job either, but it was what led him to fall in love with the Alaskan landscape. It's thanks to this shift that, he's, that led to his gentle voice that taught us that mistakes are okay and how to paint happy little trees. Shifts in, career can, shifts in careers can happen overnight. When I was applying to colleges, my intended major was architecture. Interning at an architecture firm influenced me heavily to the point where I really thought I'd be an architect. It was until I was finishing up my applications to universities that I realized that I needed a portfolio to be an architect, and I didn't even like drawing, so. I changed my major to environmental studies, which was also influenced by LGA architecture and their values. The unpredictability of your path does not reflect a lack of direction, but the courage to explore new horizons. Embrace change with enthusiasm. It may lead you to unexpected places, jobs that don't yet exist, or to solving problems we're not yet aware of. In closing, remember that no path is a straight line. It will have its peaks and its valleys, but every step, of, every step is a part of your unique journey. As you go forth, don't be afraid to adapt and thrive in a world that is constantly changing. As our former Spanish teacher, Mr. Tellez, would say, be comfortable being uncomfortable. Fittingly, he's now a professional drummer. <laughs> Embrace change in your routine because life is never certain. Congratulations, class of 2024, on this achievement, and congratulations in advance to all the achievements to come. Thank you. Thank you, Zuriel. May your journey inspire us all to reach for the stars and make a difference in the world around us. Congratulations again on this well-deserved honor. I now invite those who are presenting awards to join me on the stage for the presentation of student awards for the class of 2024. Mrs. Perez, Mrs. Saltzman, Mr. Guan, Mr. and Mrs. Merriweather, and Brother Carlos. Good morning. Uh, the St. Joseph Worker Award. This award recognizes a graduating senior who in various ways embodies the values and qualities of St. Joseph. This awardee demonstrates faith, humility, and outreach, as well as integrity, respect, and service in the workplace. The awardee has consistently shown to be dependable and responsible, holds high ethical standards, has shown growth and development through their high school career and has strived to be career ready. The senior who receives this award has attended Crystal Ray St. Viator for a minimum of three years, has strong attendance record, and uh, received above expectations for higher, for re higher reviews throughout their uh, senior year. Ultimately, have had positive employment records during their career at Crystal Ray St. Viator. I am pleased to announce the 2024 recipient of the St. Joseph the Worker Award as Ayers Beth Garola. My name is Mrs. Saltzman. I'm the Director of Student Life. The Spirit of St. Viator Award recognizes individuals who demonstrate the highest standard of hard work, community involvement, and dedication to the CRSV community. Nominees should be individuals who have consistently shown that they will actively foster positive culture and relationships in whatever community they are a part of. 
The criteria for the Spirit of St. Viator Award include the following. They must be a graduating senior who demonstrates a love of the Christaway St. Viator community through their involvement in school culture and spirit. The individual has demonstrated a consistent effort to develop a positive and ever improving school culture in academics, athletics, and student life. It is through the school spirit that the recipient of this award embodies the spirit of St. Viator, demonstrating hard work and a genuine love of our community. The recipient not only involves themselves in school spirit, but as a leader by providing and encouraging others to become involved as well. I'm pleased to announce the 2024 recipient of the Spirit of St. Baia Award is Aite Ibarra Rodriguez. This award recognizes a graduating senior who demonstrates high standards of character, integrity, and service to others and to their community. In selecting the recipient of this award, a central criterion is that their individual has demonstrated a consistent willingness to serve others in a hands-on personal manner especially in service to those considered of little importance in our world. It is through this focused service that the recipient of this award embodies the spirit of Father Curbs, founder of the Clerics of St. Viator, demonstrating compassion and living out that compassion by caring for others, by lifting up through love in action. This award, will be bestowed upon a graduating senior at the annual commencement ceremony, establishing the celebration of service to others as an essential value with our school community. I am pleased to announce the 2024 recipient of the Father Luis Curb Service Award to Yair Jamin Jimenez. Good afternoon. My name is Steve Merriweather. This is my wife, Deborah Merriweather. And we'll get into a little bit here. But first and foremost, we are so honored and proud to be here to be part of this day, to be part of the esteemed individuals from the community, to all of you that have gotten all of them so far. We are so honored to be part of all of you. Uh, you are our future, and our future certainly looks bright. Thank you for what you've done. Um, we're here to announce the Garrett Merriweather Foundation Scholarship Awards. Uh, Debbie and I are honored, as I said, to be here to represent our son Garrett, whom we tragically lost five years ago. And we certainly miss and love him dearly. And to continue his legacy here at Crystal Ray St. Viter, Debbie and I created the Garrett Merriweather Foundation to provide local high school students help with college education. We believe a college education is vital and should be available to everyone that wants one. Garrett was a very kind and giving person and had just completed his freshman year at UNLV. After his death, we had learned and heard of and continue to hear from many individuals whose lives Garrett has affected positively. To continue Garrett's legacy and to give back to the community as we believe Garrett would have, we are here to announce to all of you the four recipients of the Garrett Merriweather Scholarship tuitions. Now the recipients have been notified uh, of the awards or of the scholarships, but they do not know the amount or what they entail. And we do ask two things that are attached to these scholarships. Please be kind and help people and invite us to the graduation. That's it. We are proud to announce because of the outstanding local generosity the Ingolstadt Foundation, a big part of that. 
Two students will be awarded tuition assistance and scholarships to help in the amount of $2,000. That $2,000 combined with what they should get with either FAFSA or Millennium should cover their full, first full year. First, I'd like to announce Aleda Rachel Ramirez Lopez. Is this here? Where are they? Alayda? Swag bag included. <laughs> the things that will help her get through her first year in college, and we're very proud. We originally, real quick before we go, we originally went there looking, uh, we, were, we had a couple of scholarships and we wanted to um, uh, work with a couple of the, the individuals. And say, uh, Crystal Ray was so wonderful in, in the individuals that we spoke to, we simply uh, were honored to be amongst the four of them. So we couldn't just do two, we had to include all four. So we're so proud of you and we're so proud to be part of your life and we look forward to the achievements that you will uh, get. Thank you so much for Thank everything. You. We appreciate it. The second $2,000 winner, Sarah Lopez. Here you go. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's our pleasure. It really is. Now on to the next two. Next, we're proud to announce the Garrett Merriweather Foundation scholarships for two individuals who will receive $35,000 each for, two, for a full four-year scholarship for each of these individuals. The first individual, Marco Angelo Riva Reyes. The second individual that receive a $35,000 uh, four-year scholarship to UNLV, Diego Bar Parque Barajas. Diego? We're so proud of them. We are individuals that like to be in the background, but we're so honored to be out here in front today. Uh, we, we, we think the world of everybody here. We love Crystal Ray, St. Viter, and we think the world of all of you. We've just been so impressed. So I'll get off the stage. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? The boss tells me things. I got to do it. Um, thank you to all of you. It's a wonderful thing. Thank you to all of you for everything you've done. All of you. We're so proud and honored to be here. Thank you. Good morning, still good morning. <laughs> My name is Brother Carlos, and I set up as the director of the Catholic and Viatoran Identity at Cristo Rey and Viator. It is my honor and privilege today to announce the annual Father Thomas Van Beren Scholarship Award that is presented to a graduating senior of Cristo Rey and Viator. This scholarship acknowledges and honors Father Tom and he, as the founding president of the school and expresses our gratitude for his leadership and establishes a lasting tribute in his name. Estoy diciendo algo de una beca que se va a dar a, a un estudiante nuestro. Es una beca que es en nombre del Padre Tomás Van Beren, nuestro uh, founding, el, uno de, el presidente que fundó la escuela. His enthusiastic spirit and leadership warm and invitating personality and his personal commitment in creating a school culture where every student feels safe and loved 
has set forth a guiding vision for Cristo Reis and Viator for generations to come. The recipient of the Father Thomas Van Beren Scholarship Award must be a graduate who has demonstrated outstanding academic success and personal leadership and exhibits personal and moral integrity. This award, this award is presented and founded by the clerics of San Viator, the founding sponsors of the school. The scholarship is in the form of a cash gift of $10,000 to be used for college expenses. It is my honor to invite Father Tom Van Beren to announce this year's recipient for the class of 2024. Please welcome Father Thomas Van Beren. Good morning, everyone. Indeed, it's a great honor and a joy to be able to celebrate with our senior class, our graduates, who have worked hard over these last four years to be able to be here today and to acknowledge our parents and those who have so supported them throughout their high school career. Based on the criteria that Brother Carlos has presented and upon the recommendation of the Cristo Rey St. Viator leadership team, I'm pleased to announce that the 2024 recipient of the Father Thomas Von Buren Scholarship is Harper Weekly. Harper, on behalf of the Clerics of St. Viator and on behalf of Cristo Rey St. Viator, we congratulate you as you will be attending Chapman University this fall in California. You have earned this, this award and we congratulate you and your family. Thank you. President Burkhead, as principal, I am pleased to testify that the students assembled here this afternoon have completed all the requirements at Cristo Rey St. Viator College Preparatory High School and the Department of Education for the State of Nevada. Therefore, it is my privilege to present to you the class of 2024 for the conferral of their diplomas. Mrs. Lucy Pena and Dr. Ronaldo will be reading the names of each graduate. It is my honor to assist in the presentation of our graduates as they receive their diplomas. I ask Ms. Lucy Pena and Dr. John Ronaldo, Ronaldo to come forward to read the names of our graduates. Vanessa Olivia Alvarez. <laughs> Diana Abigail Arjon Brieto. <laughs> Kevin Gael Arroyo. Michael Alexander Arteaga. <laughs> Kevin Victor Barfrago. Oscar Brito Franco. Edgar Julian Canel Avila. Christian Castro Rodriguez.
Nubi Kiaonui Ray Cook II. Julio Cesar Dennis. Eddie Ian Francisco Perez. Jose Angel Galeote Marquez. Liza Patricia Garcia. Genevieve Raquel Gooden. Ruben Guerrero Torres. Diego Guido. Arisbeth Gurrola. Maya Adrian Hernandez. <laughs> Suzette Isabella Hernandez. Dylan John Joel. Yair Jimenez Gonzalez. <laughs> Brianna Janelle Lariosa. Sarah Lopez. Cindy Yamalet Mechuca Perez. Kylie Catherine McAloon. Maya Esperanza Mejia. <laughs> Hector Gabriel Melkor. Brittany Mendoza Chi. <laughs> Alex Adolfo Mercado. <laughs> Natalie Priscilla Macinas.
Zuriel Monzon. Mario Emanuel Navarro Khan. Damaris Ortiz. Diego Pasquet Barajas. Aleida Rachel Ramirez Lopez. Marco Angelo Rivas Reyes. Aite Angélica Rodríguez Ibarra. Giovanni Romeo Rosales. Evelyn Santiago Garcia. Alexa Joana Cifuentes. Esteban Sosa Solís. Viviana Eledeth Torres Vergara. Aiden Jacob Anthony Tyler. <laughs> Emily Danielle Vasquez. Matthew Rafael Villasenor. <laughs> Harper Luchin Landry Weekly. I would like to invite Ruben Guerrero Torres, Senior Class President, to the stage. Graduates, please stand. You may now turn your tassel from left to right and your class ring facing outward as you go forth into a new and exciting future. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the Crystal Ray St. Varder graduate of the class of 2024.
Please be seated. Dear parents and family members, on our graduation day from high school, we are well aware that our life has been enriched by so many people who have loved and supported us through these years. And especially, we are well aware that it is because of you, our parents and family members, through your guidance, love, understanding, and faith in us that we are here today. As the Cristo Rey Saint Viator class of 2024, we thank you, our parents and families, for your many blessings and constant support that has carried us throughout our high school years. There are not enough words to express how grateful we are for everything that you have done for us. However, this day is a perfect day for each of us to say thank you, to say I love you, and to tell you that I feel so blessed because I have you as my parents and my family. As we begin a new chapter in our lives, we want you to know that we still need you. We need your support, and most of all, we need your continued love every day. And now I invite Brother Carlos Flores to the stage for the faculty staff blessing over the graduates. Thank you. I would like to invite the faculty and staff to stand and extend their hand over the graduates. Estoy invitando solamente a los profesores, al perso personal de administración, para que se levanten y extiendan las manos sobre los graduandos. Dear graduates, may the creator of this enormous universe keep you safe as you go forth from this place that has nourished your mind and your soul. Que el creador de este enorme universo los proteja mientras salen de este lugar que ha sido nutrido su mente y su alma. May our God look down upon you and give you success in all your endeavors, courage in all your struggles and challenges, understanding in all that is new to you, wisdom to choose what is right and to do what is good, perseverance in all you undertake, serenity and peace in the knowledge that you are not alone and that you are loved. Que nuestro Dios los mire y les dé éxito en todos sus esfuerzos, coraje en todas sus luchas y desafíos, entendimiento en todo lo que es nuevo para ustedes, sabiduría para elegir lo que es correcto y hacer lo que es bueno, perseverancia en todo lo que emprendan, serenidad y paz en saber que no están solos y que los amamos. And may the Lord of all look kindly upon you this day and give you his grace. We offer this blessing in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Y que el Señor de todos los mire con bondad en este día y les dé su gracia. Ofrecemos esta bendición en el nombre de Jesús, quien es el Señor por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. Saint Viator, Father Kerbs. Adored and loved be Jesus. I now invite our president, Ms. Lisa Borghead, for closing remarks. Class of 2024, it is my privilege to be the first to formally congratulate you as graduates of Cristo Rey St. Vitor College Preparatory. Today signifies the culmination of your hard work and preparation for your future. You have exceeded every standard and expectation we have set for you. Let's take a moment to highlight some of the incredible accomplishments of your class. Our Cristo Rey St. Vitor seniors earned a total of 1.8 million in scholarships to continue their education. Our students have been accepted all around the country to universities such as the University of Arizona, Boston College, Fordham University, Georgetown, University of San Diego, Santa Clara University, Villanova, and of course our in-state universities, UNLV, Nevada State University, and UNR. Yes. In athletics, seniors on the soccer team participated in the first ever NIAA regional soccer playoffs. 
CRSV had its first ever state competitor in track and field, and our senior athletes paved the path to the future by demonstrating leadership both on and off the field. In performing arts, seniors produced six theater productions during their time at Cristo Rey St. Viter and were the first class that participated in four years of drama. Our student council leaders led presentations at the Regional Conference for Nevada Association of Student Council and were key leaders in building the school traditions that will be part of their legacy. And let's not forget our corporate work study program. Our students have been in the workforce for the last four years, working at corporations like MGM, South Point, Ellis Island, Southwest Gas, law offices, architect firms, schools, nonprofits, and hospitals, to name a few. Working in a variety of settings, such as marketing, human resources, and customer service, literally earning their education. How about a nice round of applause for their successes and leadership? <laughs> Class of 2024, as you go out into the world, we feel confident that we have prepared you and believe in your ability to succeed. You have demonstrated your faith in God, compassion, leadership, and talents. Always remember that you have the ability to make a difference in our world. Never lose sight of your dreams. Lean on your faith. And don't forget those who helped you along the way. Speaking of those who helped you along the way, Padres, madres, tíos, tías y familias de Cristo Rey San Viator, un gran gracias por su apoyo amor y ayuda. Hoy celebramos la graduación de sus hijos sabiendo que todo fue posible por Dios y la lucha de todos ustedes. Gracias por su confianza en nosotros. Estamos tan orgullosos hoy. Como una latina de primera generación, recuerdo con mucho amor a mis padres y sus sacrificios de dejar su país, idioma y cultura buscando más oportunidades para sus hijos. Que Dios siempre los bendiga. Thank you to our amazing parents and our families. We appreciate all of your support throughout your time here. It has been a blessing to have you as partners in education. To our teachers and our counselors, administration and staff, may God bless you always for your dedication to our students. You are the finest educators in our state. And thank you to our underclassmen who served as greeters at the doors today, our administrative staff who worked hours to make sure graduation was a success, and to our parents and our families for your support and commitment to Catholic education. I would like to now invite Father Tom Von Baron, our founding president, to offer the closing benediction. Please stand. Throughout human history, Families have prayed for their sons and daughters as they prepare to leave home and enter into the wider world. And so I invite you to join me in prayer for these graduates on their graduation day. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Class of 2024, may your passion inspire you. May you keep old friends and make new ones. May you face a future so wide open with possibilities that it is both scary and thrilling. May the world not only welcome you with open arms, but also challenge you to roll up your sleeves and get to work. May injustice trouble you and hope comfort you. May you often get it right and recognize when you don't. May the love of family and friends that overcomes all difference 
heals all wounds, and calms all fears find a permanent home in your hearts. You have been formed as Viatorian young men and women of faith, and as a royal is strong, we pray for you to find courage within you. As a royal is proud, we pray for you to embrace humility. As a royal is loyal, we pray that you seek understanding. As a royal leads, we pray that you hear the voice of wisdom. As a royal is true, we pray that you respond with compassion. And as a royal protects, we pray that you become an agent for peace in our world. So go now, act justly, speak honestly, live happily with one another, and may you always walk humbly with your God. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God be with you as you go forth in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This concludes our commencement exercises. We thank you for celebrating with us and ask God to bless you and your families. With our faculty and staff, then graduates, our newest alumni will now lead us out into the future. God bless each and every one of you. <laughs>